Hello, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to add images to your pages or posts in WordPress 3.5. WordPress 3.5 allowed um, more customization of the images and better indexing of them. It allows you to manage your images much more easier than previous versions of WordPress and it's a wonderful thing. It's just a lot of people have a hard time getting accustomed to that, um, but it's actually fairly easy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new page. We go to pages and then add new page. And <clears throat> here we're going to add some sample content. And let's say then we want let's say then we want, we want the image to appear on the left hand side of all this text. So what we're gonna do is we click here, we click on add media. If we have already added the images, we can just select from these images that we have in the in the website. And if we want to upload a new image, we can click here and upload images. And I can just click here to select the files. Or if I have the files in a in a folder. What I can do is I can just drag the, fold, uh, the, the file from the folder and put it in here. So let's see an example. Mm. Let's say then I want to add my logo here in this this post in this page. Sorry. So what I do is I just select the logo and I just drag it if I'm using Windows, of course. And what this is going to do is it uploads the image directly into the media library. And while that is finishing, um, I can change here the title. What I want to title this image, let's say then we want to title main Alex logo. The caption, the caption is a little text that appears underneath the image. If you don't want text to appear underneath an image, don't add anything to the caption. The alt text is the, the text that appears whenever somebody hovers over the image. They go, get closer to the, they get close to the image and you see a little bubble text. Um, that's the alt text. Let's say then we want to have a um, sample of, of alt text. And description, this is mostly used for you. Um, if you wanna, uh, I don't know, remember what this image was about, or what you put in there, or something like that, the description is a good fit for that. And alignment, we wanna select the alignment for this image. Right now, we wanna select in the left. I don't want it to link to anything, but if you want, if, if you want to, the image to link to something, we can click here, custom URL, and here I can put the main URL. But right now, I just want the image to be a simple image. And here, um, WordPress allows you to, to have multiple file sizes inside your, your installation. So let's say that right now, I just want to have the full size, but I could actually select the thumbnail size. Usually, whenever you upload a large file, image file, um, you get uh, three or four options in this area. But right now, I just want to add the image in full size, in full original size. And as you can see, all the text aligned to the right um, of my image because I click um, um, the image to be aligned to the left. If I wanted to change that image and let's say I want to put it in the other side, I just select the image and then I click here on the little image that says uh, edit image. And here I can select the alignment for this particular image. Let's say that right now I want it to be aligned to the right. So I just click update and now the image is aligned to the right. Um, and that's basically it. If you want to delete the image, you select it and you click here, delete the image, and it's gone. I hope this tutorial was useful for adding images to your posts or pages. It's exactly the same process for a, for a uh, post. Um, and you can also select a featured image. Um, let's say uh, if you want to see the gallery, you click on Add Media. And here is the media library, and let's say that I want to make this particular image the featured image. So I click on here, select featured image, I just click on the image, and I put set featured image here underneath it. And that's it. Featured images usually are for special uh, templates and allow customization of, of the featured image or thumbnail, usually it is. And it's just uh, whenever, for example, somebody shares that particular post in Facebook or Twitter or Google+, 
what they're gonna do is they're gonna read the featured image to to use that image as um, a, a, as a related image to that particular post. Um, certain social media websites allow that to be automatic. Um, others require you to to manually select the image. Sometimes, for example, Pinterest will do that. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.